Story Time with Mrs. Farnsworth. Hi, everybody. I have a new book for you. It is called Amazing Lizards, and it is nonfiction. And this book was written by Faye Robinson, illustrated by Jean Day Zalinger. And I think you're really going to like the illustrations. I had no idea there were so many different kinds of lizards. After you see the lizards in this book, I think you're going to be really surprised. Plain old lizards, gray and green. This one's called a whip tail. Lizards that you've never seen. This one is called a carpet chameleon. Amazing lizards splashed with spots. Moridius de gecko, that's what this guy is. Yellow rings and polka dots. This one's called a Timor monitor and this one's called a toke gecko. Bands and stripes with long white lines, lizard skins with cool designs. So up here we have a lace monitor and then down here is a Trinidad Day Gecko. It's got a long skinny tail. And over here is a Panther Chameleon. <clears throat> he is very cool looking. Lizards looking pretty weird. Wearing helmets, prickly beards. So over here we have a helmeted lizard. And I think you can figure out why he's called a helmeted lizard. It looks like he has a helmet on. And this guy is a bearded dragon. And yes, it looks like he has a beard. Frilly collars, beady scales, rhino horns, and curly tails. This guy is a frilled lizard. I think they call it that because it looks like he's wearing a frilly collar. And over here we have a Gila monster and a Jackson chameleon. When I think of chameleons, this is the one that comes to mind usually because I think of the very mixed up chameleon and I think he's the kind that was in that story. So that's the kind that usually comes to my mind. Oh, this guy's cool. Meller's Chameleon. Lizards peering all around. Lizards standing upside down. Yes, he is on the ceiling. Isn't that neat? He is a house iguana. Lizards line the rocky shores. Don't they look like dinosaurs? That's a marine iguana. They look like dinosaurs for sure. Lizards chomping, lizards, lunches, moths, and crickets. That's the six-lined race runner. If you look carefully, can you see all six of the lines on that lizard? It's like he's striped. So cool. Eggs in bunches, juicy cactus, leaves, and twigs. So this one is a common tegu. This one is a land iguana. And this one is a common iguana. Dragon lizards munching pigs. Whoa! That's a Komodo dragon. Long, long tongues for zapping flies. 
little tongues for lapping eyes. Yes, they lick their own eyes. And you can see how long his tongue is where he zaps that fly. He's a Mellor's chameleon and he is a leopard lizard. Over here we have a Nile monitor. Lively lizards taking swims. Ooh, a basilisk. Crossing rivers on two limbs. Doing push-ups. This is a green anole, and this is a greater earless lizard. I wonder how he hears without any ears. Hmm. Racing by. A toad headed a toad headed agama. I've never heard of that one. But I can see why they call him toad headed. Lizards soaring through the sky. Lizards flew by in a flash. Flying dragon. Okay, he is definitely the coolest one. He's definitely my favorite. Veiled chameleons, but we've saved the best for last. And then at the end of the book, this is how I knew what kind of chameleon and lizard they all were. Because at the end of the book, they have a little tiny snapshot of each one and what page you can find it on. So like with all nonfiction books, if you just wanted to read about the flying dragons, which were my favorites, you would go to page 27 and check it out. And I like to go back to my favorite part. So I'm going to lizards soaring through the sky, lizards flew by in a flash. And there's that flying dragon again. So that's the end of Amazing Lizards. I hope you liked it. I really did. And it was nice to read a nonfiction book for a change. I hope I see you next time. Bye. I hope you liked this story. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.